Hey, hi, it's Ben Capozzi with the Main Street Gardener, and I'm going to talk with you today, December 11th, about a smokehouse apple, which I'm getting ready to plant. So, earlier this year, I grafted at least two smokehouse apples. These are the two that survived that are still hanging out here in my backyard nursery. And uh, I'm going to plant this one, which I grafted onto Siberian crab apple. And I'm going to tell you why I'm picking this one over this one, which is on Antonovka. Um, because if I look at the graft, right here is where I grafted this one. Could come into focus. There you go. And it doesn't look super pretty, but all this up here looked mighty brown to me. So I took a, a razor blade or any kind of very thin knife will do, and I scraped there on the tip, and there was no green under the skin. I scrape there, no green, scrape there, no green. So I know that all this is alive. This looks great, this looks healthy. That's just the leaves dying back in the winter. But this just looked brown and unhappy. So ultimately what I did was, uh, I took my blade and I scraped this little twig right here and lo and behold, there was green. So this is Smokehouse, grafted onto Antonovka. And this is enough to live. I didn't scratch this, this may be alive, this may be dead, but most of this branch, like from my finger up, is dead on this up here. So this is not the best one to start out with. So I don't want to plant this tree twice. So I'm going to plant this one. And here you can see right there's the graft that I did back in that April 15th of this year. Grafted right there. This was the stick. The piece of cyan wood that I started out with is this little chunk right here from finger to thumb. And it grew all of this over this last season. And I want a very tall vertical tree for where I'm going to place this one. So I'm going to pick this one uh, and let's go plant it. All right, so this is the spot where I'm going to plant the smokehouse apple. That's this one right here. Again, it's smokehouse on, cra on Siberian crab. It's going to go right here. And uh, even though the name is smokehouse, it doesn't actually have anything like a smoky flavor system, a good tasting. Uh, not a great keeping, but a good tasting and good cooking apple. And uh, it originates in Pennsylvania, I think in the 1800s. I can't remember when, but um, it's really well adapted to Virginia's Piedmont, which is where we are here in South Boston. And uh, it likes clay soil. Actually, it's adapted to a lot of different soils, but our soil here is heavy clay. You don't have to dig too far down and around here to find clay. So that's one of the reasons why, whoops, excuse me, why I wanted this apple. But, um, so it's going to go in this hole right here. And, uh, it uh, has a tendency to, uh, pick up some diseases like uh, cedar apple rust and fire blight. Uh, so kind of as a safeguard, even though all the trees in this part of the orchard. Sorry, I ran out of space there. But what I was saying is that, uh, because it's uh, disease prone, I'm actually planting it between two extremely disease resistant varieties. So it's going to live, uh, here between a King David. Uh, which needs to be cleaned up quite a bit, but uh, this ripens in uh, uh, August or September in an Arkansas black, which uh, ripens in October. So August, September is the right uh, ripening date for smokehouse. This is the right spot for it. So that's where it's going. All right, the tree is in the ground, and the only thing left for me to do is I'm going to come and spread a little bit of cornmeal over uh, the surface. It'll be washed in tonight when it rains. And um, I'm also going to come in and I am going to cut off all these little spurs. And because I know where this tree goes and I want a columnar form, I'm going to go ahead and cut off completely uh, this remaining bit of Siberian crab. Uh, with some of my grafts that I did this year, I kept um, a branch of the uh, rootstock. If the rootstock was like southern crab or Siberian crab, I thought it would be neat to have kind of a multi-variety tree. But this tree in this space needs to be... A tall spindle, a single column. So I'm going to come back and cut all that off and put down some cornmeal. All right, so everything on this little devil is trimmed up. I cut all these little side branches off. Just a quick snip. This is all set to go. I put down some uh, corn gluten and uh, that's, I put that down. Uh, it suppresses some weeds. Um, it's a uh, kind of a uh, fungicidal um, for the bad fungus. Normally I encourage different fungi to grow in here and uh, it also feeds beneficial bacteria. It's a 
thing I'm learning about from uh, Howard Gardner, uh, The Dirt Doctor. Great, great radio show, podcast, and website. But anyhow, this tree is done. So this smokehouse is all set. I don't need to do anything else to it. I will see it in the spring. Uh, maybe I'll come back and stake it up. But uh, yeah, I'll see you in a few months, kiddo.